Right, okay, so I'm Angie White. I'm one of the sonographers here at the Whiteley Clinic. Um, so a little bit of what um, Professor Whiteley talked about is some of the symptoms. So the throbbing and aching in the lower back, which gets worse over the day, especially if you've been standing, can only be relieved if you lay down and elevate your legs. Um, kind of a heaviness and dragging at the bottom of your pelvis. Um, some people will get um, irritable bowel type um, conditions because the varicose veins are, have gone around the rectum. Um, irritable bladder symptoms um, where just, it just feels uncomfortable, um, you have to go quite a lot. Um, the pain with a kind of a, a deep sexual intercourse. Um, irritation throbbing into the labia, then again into the hemorrhoids. Um, and like he said, sometimes these symptoms will get worse, um, or not quite often do get worse when you um, have the monthly cycle um, and gen just generalized gynecological pain. Um, so we kind of went over this, um, so I won't spend too much time on that. Um, what we tend to look for when they've come out onto the legs are this, um, so you see right into the inner thigh and then along um, into the back of the buttocks and down the back of the thigh. Um, this is uh, what we would do on a normal um, a duplex scan. So this is where we look at the leg varicose veins. Um, you can see we've got the um, high resolution ultrasound machine here and we're going right up into the groin and then we can see if there's varicose veins that are refluxing down from the groin um, and then scanning all the way down. And this is just a little video showing you what it looks like on reflux. So this main vein here, this is the greater saphenous vein, it runs all the way down your leg and you can see this red um, flow, that's in the wrong direction. You should normally see flow in the blue direction. The blue is going up towards the heart. And when you see the red, it's coming backwards and the valve isn't working properly. <clears throat> so we scan the entire leg looking for, trying to create a road map, trying to look for any underlying little things that may be causing the um, varicose veins. Where is the valve in that case? Or are there many valves? Yeah, so you can see this. See that little, okay. that where, right there? Where's that in the body? And then, so that is actually, this is down your leg here. This is um, kind of like a flashlight going down. So here's the head of the patient, this is the feet. The blood flows in this direction, this valve closes, and then it prevents blood from flowing back through. Um, if the valve isn't working properly, then it won't shut, it'll just, it'll either not, um, open all the way, just let blood kind of leak through there. So this is our colleague Tim, he's one of the other sonographers here. He does not do the um, transvaginal scanning, um, but just kind of demonstrating the position of the scan. So if you've ever had a smear at your doctor's office, it's, it's quite similar to that. Um, although I can say I've had many of these, it's not as bad as the smear test. Um, so this will be the position. You may have to sit on a hard bolster um, just to, so that we can get a nice field of view with the skin. Um, so this is another diagram here. So you can see this is the patient's bottom here. Um, and this is the camera here. And the camera just goes in about that far. It's, um, we can get a nice view. So it creates this kind of window that acts like a flashlight. So we can look all around and look up and down and we can see things really close up and it's really, um, it's a really great method. Um, so you will be asked uh, during the test, we'll put on a color flow like we did on the other image and you'll be asked to perform what we call the Valsalva maneuver. And this is what <laughs> we've now termed as the hamster maneuver. So what you'll do is you'll take in a deep breath and then you blow the air into, the, into your cheeks without letting it out. So it looks like, so just to increase the pressure in your um, abdomen and pelvic veins and um, then we can really tell if things are refluxing or not. So this is just kind of a schematic here. Um, up here is the patient's head, these are the patient's feet. This is the uterus or the womb and the ovaries. So what we're looking at is we're looking at all these veins that are around the womb and the ovaries. Um, so we're gonna look to the right, we'll look to the left, we'll look up um, to check the, um, 
the periurethral veins, which are around the um, urethra of the bladder, we'll look towards the back to um, check for the hemorrhoids, and we'll look for varicose veins that might be communicating down into the legs. So this is an example of what we might see on screen. Um, this big thing right here, that's the womb. Um, we're angling over to the right side now. You see all these black veins. Um, anything on ultrasound that is black is fluid. So these are actually dilated veins here into the right side of the pelvis. So it'll run through again here. There's the womb. You see on a normal ultrasound, you wouldn't necessarily see any veins like this. Um, and then it comes through and you see the ovary here at the end, just there. So that's actually ovary with the normal follicles in it. That's a normal ovary. Looks like a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> um, so then we put the color flow on and we'll ask you to perform the hamster maneuver. <laughs> um, so this is a patient with normal pelvic veins. So what I'm looking at is the color here. You see a nice normal flow in the blue direction. You don't see a lot of flow in the red. The flashes of red that you see are arteries, and those are normal veins. So this is a patient that is actually abnormal. So we're looking at this. This is the internal iliac vein. It's blue. Then when the patient performs um, the Valsalva maneuver, you can see it turns red. And that's blood um, that is flowing in the wrong direction. So what is the difference? How is it measuring this? Is it oxygenation levels so or is it heat? Or? It's actually, um, the color is, um, <coughs> it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's measuring velocities, a mean velocity. Okay. Um, and so, but it can tell you direction. So it just depends on how you have the camera. <coughs> So this is the end of the camera here. And so anything that's blue is flowing this way, which is back towards the heart. And then when it flows red, it's flowing this way, which is down towards the feet. Um, this is looking into the vaginal wall. This patient has um, very extensive reflux. So all of that red is, is um, showing up when they do the Valsalva maneuver. And then again, this is um, this right here is the urethra leading up to the bladder, and all around this, and this is what would cause all the bladder symptoms that we talked about. And then this is actually angling towards the back. This is the rectum, and these are all hemorrhoids that have come through. And are these all symptomatic of one vein, or is there numerous problems going on here? There, it's. That's a good question. So we look and we try to um, figure out which vein it's coming for. So we look at four main veins. Actually, I think you're quite um, almost on my next slide. Let me explain this. We also look into the labia. Sometimes the veins come out into the labia. Um, so you can see the varicose veins refluxing there. And then we can see it in males as well. So this is around the testicles. Up the, let me go to the thing and then I can come back to it. Oh, it's not in here. Um, I can kind of explain to you from this diagram. So at the end of your exam, you will be given reports. Um, well, those reports will go to the surgeon that look like this. This is relating to your leg pattern. So we're making a complete road map of what is going wrong in the leg. So all of these little X's are veins that need treating. Um, this is the um, transvaginal scan. Um, these are the ovarian veins here. This is um, the, the womb here, and then these veins here. So what we're looking at when we're doing the, the duplex scanning is we're looking and um, finding each of the specific veins. So we're looking at the internal iliac veins, which are these here. Um, we perform the Valsalva maneuver when we're looking at each of these different areas, and then as well as going and finding the ovarian veins um, so it's quite, it's quite detailed. You have to know your anatomy. <laughs> Did that answer your question? Yeah, so it's just sort of probably jumping ahead. To oh, the, no, no, not at all. Point of treatment, because I yes. think you're, this, you're going to embolize. Yes. So I presume yes. you can't be embolizing one of four veins. You're going to be looking Correct. at 
you know, yes. sort of tributaries off and so on and so forth. Yes. So, Correct. And, you know, and Dr. Beckett will talk a bit about that, but when they're actually doing the procedure, <laughs> they put dye down into the veins and then right. they can better um, delineate which veins it is that have gone wrong. Many, many, many sort of like... There's veins. four main um, the ones. One. Well, we can put in several coils. Um, into different areas and different tributaries. Okay, yeah, so, so it's, pressure. yeah, there's, you can put in, I don't know how many coils you've put in, the most coils you've ever put in, but. Yeah, so, yeah, so they will go in and get every little bit that they can when they're doing it. Um, he talked, to Dr. Professor Whiteley talked a little bit about the different um, alternative methods. Um, one of the other things is that you can't functionally evaluate the valves um, with these other methods. You can't do that valsalva maneuver, which really, it really helps us to diagnose the reflux. Um, this is just an ultrasound image during the pelvic vein embolization. So this is, um, this is actually foam, the sclerotherapy, sclerosin that is running through all of these are all little varicose veins. And then here is after the procedure, all of these little bright areas, those are coils. Um, so this is the ovary here. All of these little coils are put into veins. And then when we put on color flow, we have the patient Valsalva. This is normal flow. This is an artery that's completely normal. But you don't see any of that giant refluxing red um, that was causing problems before. And then some patients do require the, with the labial veins that I showed you to have a bit of foam injected into there. So you can see here in this next one, all of these little bright, sorry, it's really bright, but these little bright areas, that's foam, that's all inside of the, those veins with the um, intent to kill off those veins so that you don't have the problem with those anymore. And that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is now, we're just going to talk a little bit about the procedure itself and then at the end we've got a video of an actual sort of pelvic vein embolisation procedure.